Hello everybody, this is Atul from IT Codes. Today we are going to learn how to create your first Angular project, understand the basic structure of Angular component, editing your first application, defining your own variable inside a component and displaying the value of the component variable. So let's dive into the project and learn how to create your first Angular project. So let's start creating our own first Angular application. Now for creating an Angular application, first and foremost, we will be needing Node.js to be installed on the system. So first go to the site Node.js. You can download the LTS version and install it onto your system. My system already has that Node.js installed. So I'll just check it out which version it is having. So to check the version of Node.js, we just have to type npm minus v, that is dash v, and it will show you the version of your npm. Now wondering why we need Node.js when the course is about Angular. Node.js is used to install the libraries and modules which are needed in Angular application. So to start with an Angular application, first and foremost, you have to install Node.js onto your system. Now to install the Angular CLI to start the project, you have to use npm install switch g angular slash CLI. So this will install the Angular CLI onto your system because you are given the switch as dash G. So when you specify this switch G, it will install the Angular CLI globally on your system. You just hit enter. So this is installed the Angular CLI onto my system. It removed some packages as they were old and installed the new ones. Now for creating your Angular application, I have defined a folder. You can also define any folder which you need. I have my folder as Angular projects. I move into it by the command cd Angular projects. And now to create your new Angular project, we just have to give the command ng new and your application name. Supposingly, we just need to create a new application. So I say my first Angular. And I just press enter. It is asking you that you want to add a routing to your Angular application. For now, I don't want to use routing. So I just press no. It is asking you which CSS format will be using for designing your application. We will use the basic CSS. So I just press on CSS and enter. So now this is creating your Angular application. Now why such long process by command line and everything? Because it uses TypeScript and complicated JS. So the setup has to be always done from the server itself. And doing this allows you to get the latest updated version of your Angular projects. For editing this application, we will be needing any editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. Now the message says package is installed successfully. So right now my folder is Angular projects and my first application is my first Angular. To open it inside IDE, I just type the command code and the name of my application and I hit enter, Visual Studio Code opens and it opens my folder, my first Angular. Now seeing the structure of the Angular application which is created, it seems a bit complicated. It is having many things such as source folder, it is having node modules, it is having package.json, 
Now, when you go in package.json, you can observe that it is holding the definition and everything for your dependencies which are used inside creating your application. Whenever you will be installing any modules or any dependencies, they will be listed over here. Some of the JSON files are not to be modified, they are having just configuration details. For editing the code, you have to go in source folder. The node modules folder is containing all the modules which are pre installed with your Angular application. Now, we go into the source folder. In source, you are having index.html, that is the starting point of your application. You are having an assets folder, you are having app folder in which you are having app component files. Now, what is this app component files? Angular itself works on components. Each and everything in Angular will be a component. So, for the first application, it comes pre built that is app component files, the app component HTML, app component CSS, a specs TS, a component TS, and a module TS. Now, each file when you will be creating a component, we will be having this 5 files created. App component is the component file. The module file contains the imports, declarations and providers which will be used inside your component. So, module is a way to generalize a thing that you can keep it at a common place which is used for your component. HTML file is the file of design of your component. The CSS file which is blank right now which can be created for designing the HTML inside your component. So, first and foremost let us run the application. So, what it shows on the screen? I just go in new terminal and I give the command as ng serve. When you hit enter, it will start a development server, a runtime development server in which you will be able to see your application running. It says compiled successfully and Angular Live Development Server is listening on 4200 port. So, by default, the port is 4200. In the browser, you can write as http slash slash localhost and 4200. So, we open the browser. and you hit enter. Your first application is running. Now, observing the HTML and comparing the code, the code which is seen inside the browser window or the HTML which is interpreted is app component dot HTML. You can see it is written welcome which is printed over here. It says my first Angular app is running. Now, this is printed by this particular line. Over here, you can just see there is something known as interpolation, two curly braces, starting and ending. Now, what is this title? This is a dynamic variable which is defined inside the component ts file. The name is title over here. So, we just go in the component file. The title is written over here. We try to change it. I just change it to my app, I just click on save and you can see it is done dynamically over here without refreshing the browser or without rerunning my application. So, at runtime, whenever you change something inside your Angular application, it will be directly interpreted to the browser without refresh of any of the files. So, this is your first variable which you have changed from your app component.ts. Now, wondering app component.html, how it is being called at the first run of your application. The running point, as I said, of your application is index.html. Now, if you go in index.html, you will be having some tag over here named as app root. Now, what is this app root doing over here? When you go in your app component file, you are having 
a definition of your component over here. It is something known as selector. Now, when you compare the selector, it is written app root over here. This app root is defined inside your index.html. It is written, it is called. When I say app root over here, it will call this component. So, this particular tag written over here directs the index file that you call this particular component. And below it is written as template URL. So, the component is using a template file. The template file name is app component.html. So, when index calls app component, it will call this URL that is template URL. And the things which are written in your app component will be rendered inside your browser. And below, you can see it is defined as styles URL. So, which style will this particular template be using? So, each and every component, when you will be defining new components, will be having a template file, a CSS file, a specs file, a TS file, and a module file. So, this is the basic structure of your component inside your Angular application. Now, let's do something further. We define a new variable. I just give the name as number one. I save a value eight inside it. I save it. Now, I am just removing the entire code which is being given in app component.html. I just remove it and say, I press save. Go to the browser. Your browser is now blank. As I cleared all the contents from your app component.html. Now, we generate our own HTML. I just press HTML and hit enter. Now, I want to print these two variables which are defined inside your app component.ts file. So, over here, I use two curly braces. I give the name as title which is defined inside your app component HTML. I save it. And you can observe it. It has been printed over here. The second value which is number. So, I again use two curly braces and I give the variable as number 1. The value of the number 1 will be interpreted in the browser. So, this is how interpolation works in Angular application. Now, we go a little bit further. I define a text box. simple text box. So, we get a text box over here. Now, I will be using something known as data binding in your Angular application. Now, for data binding, there is something known as ng model. Now, when I give ng model, it is giving me a red line which is an error over here and I want to print the value of number 1 dynamically inside this particular text box. So, I will just give the variable name over here, number 1, but it is still giving me the red line. If I save it, it is not compiling and you are having an error which is printed on this. It says can't bind to ng model since it is it isn't a property known of input so it says this cannot bind this ng model thing over here for that inside your modules.ts as i said further all the modules which you need has to be loaded priorly inside your module.ts file now initially you just have browser module over here for working with forms or text boxes and ng model, we need a module named as forms module. So, as I write forms module over here, it will be imported from import 
POMS module from Angular slash POMS. So once you save it over here, you can see the error has gone. Now, when you just press Control S, it will compile successfully and the browser is having the value which has been passed from the component. Now, here is a runtime magic which you can see. When I change the value, it changes the value of the variable inside the component as I type at runtime. So, this particular feature is known as data binding. So, you binded a text box to the variable which is defined inside your app component file. So, this is how you create your first Angular application and do the basic editing using the variables which are defined inside your component file and using interpolation to print that particular file variables inside your component file. Hope this was useful and we will be giving more lectures in near future. Thank you.